Ah, welcome back my fellow Hoi4 and Paradox players. It's been a while a while since I last uploaded. As I said before, I would be taking a short break, but now I'm back in action. And what a better start this glorious return than playing in the mod that has a weird obsession with exile governments and turning certain countries into, Ger into the German Empire. So for that we shall be taking a look into playing the Dunkelman Union and making Willy the Tsar of Russia. Now that we're actually in the game, we really don't start that well with a shitty army and shitty industry early and early on another province will decide to succeed making our country even weaker. A few weeks later, there will be a coup trying to get rid of our leader, and tragically, he was killed during the incident. As such, this was the perfect opportunity for the German garrison to just take over the entire country, which is not a whole lot considering it's like two provinces, but whatever. And while we're here, we might as well just declare bomb, bomb pamphlets. Uh, I, I hope that I'm actually saying that right, but probably not. And I already probably butchered the name, but anyhow. Uh, the new Ottoman and... And what type of a Cossack state we would be if we didn't take the whole Caucasus for ourselves, you know? And, I mean, I would like to imagine that the previously German-backed state, and now with the German garrison in charge, the army would be much better than any other in the Caucasus, but no, my army was so sh**, I had to resort to sneaking around the enemy troops and using the gaps in the front line to get to the victory points, so... We're having a pretty great start already. But it looks like by just defeating that one nation, everyone around me, even the Mountain Republic, that while I was fighting that earlier war, decided to unite basically the whole Caucasus and had Georgia as its puppet, but surprisingly they just accepted to being annexed, and later Georgia would be annexed too. I originally planned to wait until the Second Weltkrieg to start the, well, to do the whole taking down Russia with Germany, but at this point I was so bored because there was not a lot of events, not a lot of flavor, so I just decided to just go for it. At first I struggled against the Russian hordes, even, even when I had built some forts and I was behind the river, so I lost some tiles, but after a few weeks I had deployed the second army and stabilized the front. Also since I only had the Caucasus to work with, I relied heavily on Germany to get the guns needed for the army. And while normally I would show more gameplay if it was only interesting, as the whole war was just basically seeing me sitting just behind the river line until the Russians would run out of equipment to do some uh, small counterattacks, so instead here Here's a mini montage of the casualties. Also remember how I said that I did some little counterattacks? Well, here is basically what happened.
But even after killing like three and a half million Russians, they still had four times my industry and since well, it's Russia, they would never run out of manpower so I just eventually I had to retreat to my river line until I had another opportunity to counterattack. But that actually came sooner than expected, as Russia decided it was its turn to commit seppuku in these videos by declaring war on the whole Reich Pact after losing 3.5 million men to just the Caucasus. Yeah, real big brain move there, <laughs> Russia, huh? So at this point, it was just really only a matter of time of just taking... Well, walking around to get to the victory points with Russia's army barely filling the uh, whole front line. <laughs> basically just walking around the Russia's troops, so let's actually get into the peace deal, you know? <laughs> so in the peace deal, I decided to get, give uh, well, land to the Baltics, uh, Dutch, Belarus and Ukraine as participation in the war. And I decided just to take the rest of Russia for myself, uh, myself since I just killed 5 million Russians to do it. Also, I decided to give Germany Bulgaria since they were allied to Russia. With Russia gone, I had two choices, either establish a, a Reich Commissariat, and no, not the one you're thinking about. But, uh, well, technically there's like a semi-national social, you know what I'm talking about, if you go with the Reich Commissariat pod and have von Lebkub von Wanschbitz, von Wanschbitz, how the f*** do you pronounce that? Okay, that's not... Or you, you have the option to crown Willy the Tsar of Russia. And, well, you know, having Willy claim another title for himself sounds pretty tasty if you, ask, if you ask me. Also, since, well, we are now Russia, with the German aristocracy in charge, mind you, uh, well, we needed to destroy the Bolsheviks in the Far East, claiming to be the real Russia. And while the whole army is freezing to death in Siberia, it's, per it's the perfect time to crown Willy as the rightful Tsar of Russia. This would be awesome and all if it wasn't big, uh, for, well, Willy being dead as it was 1943. 
So I suspect that in reality he just retired from politics but then decided to come back to be crowned uh, Tsar of Russia while leaving his son as the Kaiser of Germany proper. Oh, I almost forgot about the war in Siberia with the whole crowning will as the Tsar of Russia. Uh, so without much of an army I just marched to Vladivostok, mostly unopposed. Also, technically I had an, an option to restore power to the Russians, but why would I do that? I did not play as the sh** on command union just to be normal Russia, so instead I decided to give more power to the Junkers and the German aristocracy. <laughs> While I was reconstructing uh, Russia uh, well, from the war and all, and get re getting rid of my debuffs, well, the Second Welt Krieg was still happening, well, still ongoing, and Germany was losing. Uh, although this should not be a surprise, considering they lost 12 million men in the whole war. Also, you gotta love the AI that's stacking troops in provinces with, lobs with low supply. Ah, never change, never change, hoi for AI. And so, with Russia stabilized, it was time to ask Berlin for the return of some old territory now that Willy and the Junkers were now in charge instead of the bloodthirsty and tyrannical Sabinkub. So, during the Smolensk conference, I hope that I'm actually pronouncing that right, but anyhow, uh, I, asked, I asked Germany for Belarus and Ukraine as they are rightful Russian claim, mind you. Please, Mr. Purin, don't kill me for putting a German dynasty in charge of Russia. Ah! And to my surprise, they actually said yes to my request. To those with keen eyes, you may have seen that there was a second option to ask for Lithuania and the Baltics, but you can guess how that turns out. So instead, I just asked for Ukraine and Belarus and I just got them for free. Well, not exactly tr that's not exactly true as well, the Ukraine did not incorporate it itself, so it was it it's time to do do it the hard way. <laughs> And so with Ukraine now in Russian, Prussian German hands, uh, that was the end of this campaign. There was not a lot to do after this. Well, in general, there was not a lot of things to do, really. There was not a lot of content, to be fair. Um, and well, yes, I could have waited until Germany died to reclaim, uh, to reclaim the fatherland from Russia. It was already 1943 and I was not planning to play beyond this as the game was running out almost 10 FPS. So that was the time Willy became Tsar of Russia even after his death. Yeah, it's kind of weird, but uh, I really hope you enjoyed the video. And um, before I go, I want to well uh, do a little announcement. Ever since I have been monetized, the YouTube has constantly been telling me to do the whole memberships thingy, which is basically YouTube's version of Patreon. So I know I, I now have activated the option for anyone that's interested in checking it out. I just sorry, I I thought I just do it right like at the end of the video to not well interfere with the main part. That's all for today. This was the Factus Expert signing off.